Hello and welcome to yet another video of Tracking the Changes. This is a series of videos which aim to unpack what is happening in the global business place and the global market, market place, what is happening to the world of business, what is happening in the digital space, and how all these things now begin to mesh together to create a new reality that is yet to fully manifest itself. What I'm going to talk about today is something we can all relate to, we all feel and we don't easily articulate because we don't have the words for it, and that is pandemic anxiety. Now, there are several different layers to this complex subject, so let's begin with the easiest one. Obviously, we are all living in a world which is affected by a pandemic right now. Locally, this can be very different. You could be in a hotspot or you could be somewhere where, where it is relatively safe. Regardless, if you're looking at the news online, if you're looking at the news in your television set, if you're reading articles about what's happening to the global economy, you are beginning to realize that there's a lot of uncertainty coming towards us right now. No one is yet sure how all this will play out. And on top of that, there's a very real risk, the very real threat posed by a pandemic to our health and the health of our loved ones. This is the first layer of pandemic anxiety in that really we may actually get ill, quite possibly die, and obviously this creates a certain amount of anxiety, especially when we're not 100% sure how to protect ourselves. But there's another level of pandemic anxiety which is happening in the back of our head, which uh, is taking up emotional and cognitive resources and is affecting our ability to think clearly, make the right decisions and actually act in a rational manner that will benefit us. That level of pandemic anxiety which is being felt is the result of the constant uncertainty eroding our sense of self, eroding our resources, eroding our uh, resilience and making us susceptible to uh, either panic decisions or knee-jerk reactions, which then short-circuit uh, logic processes. That is happening because the pandemic itself is a crisis, and our brain and our body reacts to the crisis the way we have been programmed by evolution to react to any kind of crisis, and that is by amping up our mental, physical, and cognitive and emotional resources uh, so we can take action which will lead to our preservation and our continued survival. The thing about a crisis is that it always, always has a very uh, short lifespan, a beginning which is clear and an end which is clear. The pandemic is likely to drag on for at least another year, maybe longer. The level of uncertainty which we feel has already dragged on for a long time. The level of um, fear, even at this very, very basic low background level that we experienced that, has gone on for a long time. And that has depleted our resources from a cognitive, emotional and psychological point of view. It also quite possibly has uh, depleted our resources at a physical level because obviously our cognitive, emotional and psychological reactions are based on chemical and neurochemical reactions which happen in the body, which means the body's processes begin to physically act and change and, and on this, and then they have to sort of somehow replenish themselves. There is no taking a break from this because the entire planet is actually immersed in a pandemic. So the moment we, are, we become aware of this issue, the question arises, the question becomes, how do we actually deal with it? And the only way to deal with this is, first of all, to accept it. It is happening. Sure, we feel that anxiety. Sure, we feel that uncertainty. Both the anxiety and the uncertainty are real. We understand the world is changing. We understand that we can't possibly quite predict how it will change with any great degree of accuracy. And the moment we accept all this, then we can take a slightly um, sort of um, smaller step back and examine our actions in the greater context. This is almost like looking at ourselves from the outside in. And the moment we do that, it gives us a little bit of respite because um, our levels of anxiety diminish because we are applying a third point of view. And that allows our brain and body to basically um, take a little bit of a breather. So this is how 
we are affected by this. How we deal with it successfully uh, requires that um, amount, that degree of self-awareness and that application of uh, self-discipline which will enable us to have the resilience um, which we need in order to get through it. I really hope this helps. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out the content for further links in the description below. Thank you for listening.